So I found this 27 by 13 inch oval mirror at a garage sale. I only paid a couple bucks for it and it was kind of a mess, but um, I cleaned it up as best I can, the back and the front. And the front um, had some little chips of paint off of it. So I did have to take some black paint and go around the perimeter of the very front of it, the very um, outer edge with a little bit of black paint and then also around the interior edge with a little bit of gold paint. So here I am next I decided to put silicone around the perimeter and I chose I think it was held in there pretty good but the reason I did silicone was there was such a wide gap there I was afraid a bunch of resin was going to pour out through that gap and I thought that would be the best way to fill the gap in. And then once that was all dry, I went ahead and I took painter's tape and put it all the way around the perimeter of the back. Boy, I did a messy job with that silicone, didn't I? Um, and just as an extra precaution against resin leaks. So next I had this stencil that I had purchased online last year. I put it on the copy machine, copied it, printed it out, cut it out, and then laid out on the glass how I wanted everything to look printed out the words on my Cricut machine and put that at the top of the mirror. And at the end, I do have some tips on how you can do this without a Cricut machine. Next, I use some carbon paper to trace out the project onto the mirror. And um, no worries about the tracing showing up after. Actually, first I started with white. It was too light, and then I used yellow. But um, we're going to take the rhinestone chains, and they're going to go right over the lines, so you will not see the lines. And I used clear Elmer's glue, and I traced around every single one of the lines with the clear Elmer's glue. And I took 4 millimeter rhinestone chains and outlined it in this area. These are AB Crystal 4 millimeter rhinestone chains. And it's really important that you use the clear Elmer's glue because if the clear Elmer's glue is to get in any other areas on your mirror, the resin will totally cover it. You will not see it. Whereas regular Elmer's glue, you will see. So I also did the apples with the rhinestone chains putting the clear Elmer's glue down first, and these are two millimeter red rhinestone chains. Next, to fill in the rest of the basket, I took four millimeter gold rhinestone chains and filled in all the areas. Everything I use in this video, I will link under the description so you will know where to get it. I'm not sure how well you can see this, but if you look at the top center of the screen on the mirror, there are water spots that I was unable to get off with rubbing alcohol or any type of cleaning. And I want you to know that when I poured the resin over it, all the water spots disappeared. And I thought that was pretty cool in case you find an old mirror somewhere and you don't want to use it because it has spots on it. They totally disappeared. Honestly, this whole basket and apples did take a couple hours to complete. I just have it put in fast forward. Next, I took Ashland Decorative Filler that I had spray painted with the Tamaya Red Translucent Spray Paint, and I just went ahead and filled in all the apples. So next, I do take Clear Elmer's glue, and this is optional and put that over all the glass of the apples. And the reason I'm doing that is next I'm gonna be messing around with the stems and the leaves for the apples, which could move the glass all over the place. And I just, I just don't wanna mess with it. I want it all glued down and secured. And you do need to have the Elmer's glue totally dry before you put any resin on it. You have to make sure that it's totally dry because it will not dry once you put the resin on it. Um, now, to be perfectly honest, this entire project could be done without any resin. If you used glue on everything, it would hold perfectly in place. For the leaves and the stems, I used this 
the garland that I actually had and I had never used and just cut little leaves off. And then for the stems, I had this broken reindeer and I went ahead and it's a real thick cardboard with glitter on it that I had gotten at the Dollar Tree. And I just went ahead and cut um, long thin stems on off of it, or I should say short thin stems off of it. And I took the Tamaya metallic green spray paint and sprayed the leaves and the stems and the stems actually retained the sparkly uh, quality even after I sprayed it and then I just went ahead and put those on the project. At the very bottom I chose to use the mosaic accent green glass from Hobby Lobby. It's a real bright green. I really like it. And then also these glittery leaves that I had picked up from Hobby Lobby. I just think they're so pretty and they just look like fall. And next is the resin. I mix the resin up off camera. The resin I'm using for this project is Craft Resin Crystal Clear 1 to 1 ratio resin. You mix slowly in a cup for three minutes. I did let it sit around for about 15 minutes so that some of the bubbles would dissipate and then I spread it on the project. I usually drizzle it over the glass first and then up and around the edges to make sure it gets in all the different areas. I am using my spoon to spread everything out and then I had decided before to do more leaves, two leaves on each of them. So I went ahead and I put these on after the resin because the first ones I had glued down so they weren't going to move but sometimes when you put something really light down and then put resin over it, um, it it kind of shifts around so I thought this would be easier to stick it into the resin and that's why I chose to do it this way to sit on a flat level surface overnight at temperatures between 70 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit it's in your best interest to cover it with a dust cover I did use the kitchen torch to get rid of some of the bubbles. You need to read the directions for the resin that you are using because all resins are different. Hey everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed the project. It was, um, it was this didn't, uh, this honestly didn't take that long to do. And of course I had the cricket to do the words, but just because you don't have a cricket doesn't mean you can't stencil on a mirror. You could use a regular stencil, or if you, um, you know, don't have those words on a stencil, you can go ahead and create them in one of your word processing, on one of your word processing sites like Microsoft Word, do it in whatever fonts you want. Then just take a piece of carbon paper and put it underneath your, um, paper with the words on it and trace it out just like I traced out this for the um, for the rhinestone chains. And you know, this all started just from a stencil and I actually purchased this stencil about a year ago, um, just didn't use it and then I used it this year. So um, the only thing that I would do different with this, <laughs> of course, you know, we always have to criticize our own work, is um, let me show you on the stencil so if you look on the stencil do you see where up by where the um, leaf is and the stems how the apple um, curves in i didn't do that for some reason when i copied it i just made it a round apple <laughs> and um, i think it would look more realistic if it kind of dipped in so that's the only that's the only thing i would do different i didn't notice it until after and it would have been so easy to just push down on the rhinestone chain and make a little dip <laughs> as I was doing it, but you know, whatever. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps the channel. If you enjoyed the channel, go ahead and subscribe. You'll be notified when future videos come out. We've got the Facebook page going, a great place to ask questions. And I hope you guys all have a great day. <laughs> Thanks for watching.